Welcome to Thank God It's a Story Saturday, a weekly video series where I share with you stories that you can use to make your messages stick. Today's story is from a very young executive who works at an MNC. Her name is Catherine. The year is 2015 and I'm standing in this room where there are about 15 marketing professionals. The task we have in hand today is to take the organizational values and attach stories to them to make sure that they stick. One of the values that we are about to work on is called FAIR. So I look at the marketing professionals and I ask them, talk to me about a time when FAIR was lived. There is pin drop silence in the room. At the back of the room, there is this young executive, Catherine. She puts her hand up and says, can I share something? And I say, go right ahead. She says, this was on my very first day when I had moved from Holland to Jakarta and started my role in this organization. On my day one, I was sitting at the orientation and the HR manager puts up the organizational values and one of the values is fair. And I asked her, what does that look like? So she says, oh, you know, for example, if you really have to work from home one day because, you know, there's some issue, then we are fair about it and we'll say, okay. I literally rolled my eyes because I thought, yeah, right. We'll see when the time will come and we'll see if you really are fair. On my day two, in my orientation schedule, I was meant to shadow the country head. So on day two, I woke up in the morning, I looked outside, it was a little bit cloudy, and, but I still had about two hours to get to work, so I was fine. And I drive. So I started to get ready, I drove my car out of the driveway and I started driving. By this time, it started to rain very heavily. And about 30 minutes later, I had only driven about 500 meters. 45 minutes later, I'm getting late to work and I haven't moved at all. I'm now starting to panic. What would this country head think of me on my very first week? So I called the country head secretary and asked her if she would be kind enough to give me his mobile number and if I could WhatsApp him. She was kind enough to give me the number. So I gathered the courage to WhatsApp the country head. And I thought he's never going to respond and he's going to think so badly of me. But within a few seconds, I got a message back from him. Very nervously, I picked up my phone to see what the message was. The message said, No problems, Catherine. Welcome to Jakarta. Turn right back and work from home today. I have never forgotten that moment. In that moment, it was very clear to me what being fair really looks like.